Now is the perfect time to plan your next vacation. What about escaping to the Wild West? Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier is back tonight to tell us why Wyoming might be the best place to check out this year. Live at the country's oldest dude ranch. Hey Gabe, how are ya? Hey Michelle, I couldn't be any better. <laughs> the oldest dude ranch in the USA. Tell me a little bit about Easton's Ranch. Uh, so this is, you know, Dude Ranch didn't exist in the U.S. before the Eaton Brothers started uh, Eaton's Ranch back in 1876. Today this property is run by the fifth generation Eaton family. Now why pick a place like this for Dude Ranching? Well, this is it. Beautiful wide open space, as far as the eye can see. Unspoiled territory. Uh, beautiful 7,500 acres here in northern Wyoming in an area called Wolf, Wyoming, outside the historic town of Sheridan. And we're right next to Bighorn National Forest, which itself has another 200,000 acres of unspoiled space to offer. So this is, if you're ready to unplug, disconnect, this is the place to come. Now, Michelle, I know you're wondering, Dude Ranch, I love the idea. Maybe I haven't done it. What do you get? All right, a lot of great activities during the day, uh, hiking, fishing, archery, trap shooting. But this is what it's all about, the horses, right? And you've got dozens of horses, former ranch horses who are now live here. And when you check into your Dude Ranch, you get matched based on your personality and expertise level with the right horse for you. And that horse stays with you for the duration of your stay. I got to meet Cash. Uh, and Cash is a, a beautiful American paint horse. He turned 16 today, as a matter of fact. So happy birthday, Cash. But he treated me so nicely. Kristen was my guy. She's a head wrangler here. And we just spent a beautiful afternoon traversing the uh, countryside. So maybe you're a novice, kind of like me. Uh, maybe you're an expert. They'll let you actually roam free, uh, unguided, if, you, if, if that's your cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, no matter what the expert level of horse with your name on it, Michelle, <laughs> is waiting. Because outdoor adventures are a very popular trend when it comes to vacations right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, listen, visitation of things like state uh, and national parks is up like 4% last year over 2022, uh, which puts us at pre-pandemic levels as far as the sheer number of people visiting uh, things like national parks. Uh, in fact, 20 of the 63 parks across the national park system last year set visitation records. The beauty of Wyoming, by the way, you got two big ones, of course, the Grand Teton National Park and, of course, Yellowstone, the country's very first national park uh, out, out here. This is the least populated state in the country. Only half a million people live across uh, the cowboy state so plenty of open space and aside from the great big famous national parks you've got 11 state parks you've got five national forests you've got uh, mineral uh, hot springs you've got rock climbing destinations you've got the trails you've got thousands of lakes again an outdoor level uh, an outdoor lovers paradise playground and a great way to just unplug from everyday life yeah, I bet that's like the easiest way to unplug too when you're surrounded by all of that yeah. and nobody distracting you. You're like, oh, good, easy, off. <laughs> exactly, and it feels so good. So what's the easiest way for us to start planning a Wyoming trip? All right, so my friends at uh, TravelWyoming.com, great trip planning ideas. Of course, as you know, Travel Zoo's got some great uh, insights into some you know, tips and some great little secret destinations out here, some great deals to get you out here uh, as well. Uh, and then once you're out here, uh, Mother Nature at her finest, and there's a horse, Michelle, with your name on it. Okay. I guarantee it. All right, Gabe, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We appreciate Cheers. it. We'll be right back with more Good Day State Line.